everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. So you may be able to tell I'm in my pyjamas and I'm starting this vlog at the end of the first day. So I'm just going to whiz forward now and you'll be able to see what I got up to today. Hello everyone, I am just doing my makeup now and about to head into London. Got a meeting this morning at around 10.45 with a PR company, which should be nice. It's at the Ivy in Marlebone. And then I'm meeting Holly and we're gonna go for lunch and shoot some looks as well, which should be nice. I'm hoping that the weather is gonna be okay. It's raining at the moment here. I think it's raining in London as well, but it says that it's gonna be dry kind of I think within the next hour for the rest of the day. So fingers crossed, because otherwise that's a bit of a pain. The weather at the moment is just rubbish. It's been so wet for ages now, which makes it really, really difficult to get pictures. And everybody wants to see spring clothes and spring content and unfortunately, um, I haven't been able to do that yet, but anyway, yeah, I'm just getting ready now. I've got about 45 minutes before I need to leave. Yeah, I have to get the 9.30 train. So I got up at 6.30 this morning, um, took Maple out and was back here for like, what time was I back here for? Like 7.45 I think, which really was a bit later than I should have been. Um, I've curled my hair this morning and instead of using the Dyson, I have used the GHD Curve Wand. Can't really see at the moment, but this is the effect that it's given. I'll show you properly before I leave. But I've been using this curling wand at the moment because my Dyson is just not holding my curls and I think it's this weather like my hair does drop out a little bit sometimes anyway but i think this like wet weather with all the moisture in the air just does not help so i thought there's no point using my dyson because i'm going to step outside and my hair's just going to drop straight away so i'm going to try something with a little bit more heat this seems to be working really quite well i've used it for the last week or so and i'm really enjoying it it's definitely holding the curl better it doesn't quite give that same like natural blowout that the Dyson does. Um, it's a little bit more of like a ringlet curl to begin with, but when they drop out, it's quite nice. And then sometimes I do just do my Dyson on like the top part of my hair to get that volume. Um, but I haven't done that today. I don't think there's any point really. I am wearing a look that I want to shoot and I'm gonna take another look with me, but the look that I'm wearing um, it's a skirt and like I just said it's raining I mean it's a long skirt it's one of those like denim midi ones but I've just tanned and I'm worried I'm gonna get like watermarks on my legs but I'm gonna drive to the train station so I shouldn't get wet going into London and I was actually gonna walk from Marlebone station because that's where my train gets in I was gonna walk from there to the ivy but it's actually quite a long walk it's like a 20 minute walk so i may may either get a taxi or i may get the tube it depends on what it's like the last time i went into london like at this early time the tube was a nightmare so i tried to avoid anything kind of before 11 o'clock because it's just a nightmare everything is delayed and everything is so busy so maybe by the time I get there it might be better at half ten but we shall see I shall assess the situation once I get there I mean if it's dry I may walk but yeah that's the plan for today I'm always a bit useless at filming whenever I'm in London but I'll give it my best shot so I'm gonna finish getting myself ready now and I will catch up with you guys when I'm ready to leave and I'll show you my outfit. 
So here is today's outfit. I've got on my leather jacket from Bash, this grey long sleeve bodysuit from Zara. This is the denim midi skirt, it's from a line and I love it, super flattering, really nice length. And the split, actually I was a bit worried about the split because I don't love my leg shape so I didn't want them to be kind of like poking out but it's quite a flattering split. I've got my sambas on. I couldn't decide between white socks or black socks but I've gone with the white, I think they look better. And then obviously my sac du jour. Oh, the sun's coming out. Not for long. So yeah, this is my outfit. It's quite chilly though so I'm thinking I may take a jumper with me and put a jumper on underneath my jacket and then obviously just take it off to shoot this look. Got another outfit with me which is white trousers and a bomber jacket. So thinking those white trousers are probably gonna get a bit dirty. Um, maybe I should take jeans as well to wear. God, I'm just gonna take everything basically. Um, I need to leave in about five minutes to catch my train. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So now it is Tuesday evening. I'm back home from London, had a lovely day, and I've got some PR packages. And I've also got um, some gorgeous PR that I was given today from Capsule Comms. So I thought I'd just show you some of my favorite bits. I always feel so exhausted after a day in London. So I've literally come home, put my pajamas on straight away. These are from Primark and they are so good. I have these in every color. They come in black, beige, and gray and they're just oh they're so comfortable they kind of look a bit like the skims one but obviously for a fraction of the price and yeah i absolutely love these it's actually been so nice and warm today when i left the house this morning i was really worried about the weather but it's been a really really lovely day i mean i say it's been nice and warm it's not i've been cold for a lot of the day but it's been sunny and I've not been wearing a coat so the fact that I wasn't literally crying in the cold is quite a good sign. So hopefully spring is on its way. So in terms of the PR I got, this is kind of random but I got this, sorry if you can see little marks on the bed, Maple has just come on heat and she's got um, a little bit of blood on my bed so I'm going to have to change this bedding now which wasn't part of the plan but anyway I got some um, resistance bands from the Pilates class and some wrist and ankle weights as well from them which I'm so excited to use you guys know I love Pilates and um, somebody commented on one of my videos and asked what um, like app I use for it um, it's the Pilates class um, it's my favorite I love all the workouts on there so um, yeah that's the one I would recommend so I'm really excited to use these I also got this set from Forth and Reckless which is a gorgeous pair of trousers with like a white waistband kind of looks like that turnover effect and then a matching blazer the blazer's cropped really nice like triangle pocket detail up here but i thought this would be so good for spring it's such a nice suit and then in here my portable charger but in here this is my bag that i took with me today so many goodies from capsule comms which i am so excited to go through i'm really looking forward to trying this um hair care brand it's called let me show you a bit better it's called vegamore i think that's how you say it and they very kindly sent me the um shampoo and this is the conditioner but i love the packaging so gorgeous and i'm really excited to try it i've heard such good things about it lots of sculpted by amy goodies as well which i've heard amazing things about eyes and face palette that should be nice and my favorite dry shampoo the batiste i love this stuff i've been using this for literally years since i was a teenager so nice little stock up of that and this is the cloud cream so pretty look at that packaging i'm really excited to use this apparently it's amazing so i'm gonna give this a go tonight i think and use it as like my evening moisturizer so that is it for tuesday look how well the curls have stayed in my hair using that ghd curve wand so much better than using the dyson i do think if i'd used that today my hair would have dropped so on days when i'm like out and about like outside in the cold air i definitely need to use like a curling iron at the moment um i will still obviously use my air wrap for like evening blow dries and stuff and I probably will like try it during the day and see if with the weather warming up a bit it does help 
ignore the um, cardboard boxes there. I need to do something with the recycling because it's overflowing again. But yeah, this is it for Tuesday. I'll pick up the camera again later in the week. Not really sure what else this vlog will entail, but I'll keep you updated. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday today, and I'm having quite a chilled out morning. Um, I got up nice and early. I got up at 6.30, took maple out, had a shower, got myself ready, done a bit of work. Um, it is now 11 o'clock, and I'm gonna take some mirror pictures, actually, in my bedroom, because I haven't done that for ages. I used to take mirror pictures all the time and post them on Instagram. Um, but I haven't done that in a very long time. I've got quite a nice setup. It's quite a bright day, as you can see in the back there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures. I've got so many like spring transitional outfits in my mind that I just wanna put out. So I thought mirror pics would be a good way to do it, nice and quick. Um, and then I can pop them in a little carousel. So you've got like five spring looks to look at all at once. And then I've got a couple of meetings this afternoon, just online meetings. Um, and that's about it. I'm just gonna have a relaxed day. I'm gonna pack for Bournemouth tomorrow because I'm heading down there for the weekend. So I'll show you what I'm packing. And that's about it for today. I'm gonna have, yeah, like I said, a nice chilled out day. Most of my days are like non-stop. So it's nice to be able to just do things slowly at my own pace for once. I'm gonna tan now um, because I'm feeling a little bit pale. Um, so I'm gonna use my favorite instant tan well it's kind of instant tan um this is the saint tropez cream mousse which i love i've been using this for ages just pop it on and then normally i pop it on at night and then i will shower in the morning um but i'm gonna pop it on now and shower tomorrow morning because i think that'll be all right this actually gives quite a nice kind of like what's it called what's it called tint instant tint the shade of this instant tint is quite nice so you can put it on wear it throughout the day and then shower it off because i know some tans the tint is like kind of browny greeny color um so you have to wash it off before you go out this one's not really like that so i'm going to pop it on now so i'm nice and bronzed for my pictures and then i will wash it off tomorrow i hope to vlog as much of this weekend as i can no promises though <laughs> So I'm just taking my outfit pictures and I love this outfit so I thought I would show you guys. The bomber is new from Zara. I wore it yesterday to shoot with Holly so it'll already be on my Instagram. It's such a nice shape, super boxy. Um, I've got on this little crop from, I think it's from Riona, underneath just plain black and then these cargo trousers are from Source Unknown and I love them. Such good quality really nice fit they've got like a drawstring at the bottom as well so you can tighten them or you can have them loose but i thought they look quite nice tightened and then i've got my dior sling backs on and an inbing bag but i just thought this would be such a nice look for like a dinner or something really comfy but also really chic as well i'm not normally this kind of trend led but I really like this. Also, I did my hair today with the Dyson because I haven't done it with that for quite a long time. I think I mentioned yesterday that I've been doing it with the GHD Curve Wand. I did it with the Dyson today. Um, and I quite like it, actually. It definitely gives like a softer blowout as opposed to like more of a tighter curl. Um, so I do like it, but it just doesn't hold as well, like especially around the front. The volume is just not how it was when um, I first did it this morning. So not ideal, but I'm only shooting from home today, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this was one of the looks that I have shot today and I absolutely love it. So I'll definitely be re-wearing this at some point. Like I said, probably for like a dinner out, maybe even this weekend. Not sure if we're going for like a nice enough dinner for me to wear this, so it may be a, a jeans and trainers kind of dinner. This is more fancy, I think. I'm literally balancing my camera on top of my glass of water, but oh well. Um, so I just had a little meeting with my financial advisor, which feels like a very, very grown up thing to say. Um, but that was exciting, actually. Um, some good news came out of that, which is good. But yeah, it's got me thinking about future plans, things I wanna get done this year. So I'm gonna go over like goals lists 
a bit later on today I thought and just decide kind of what my long-term goals are put them down pen to paper brainstorm a little bit just do a little bit of like future planning um, as I feel a bit inspired to now um, I've just got to send an invoice so I'm gonna just do that now I'll catch up on some emails and perhaps paint my toenails I haven't painted my toenails in the longest time um I always feel a bit like weird and creeped out whenever I'm talking about toenails but I haven't painted them for ages and they're kind of quite grown out so I thought I may um do them this afternoon because I've kind of got nothing to do it's 20 to 4 so it's quite late in the day I have finished all my work for today which is so unusual I've got a bit of filming that I want to do tomorrow and really if I'd have been organized I could have done it today but it's too late in the day now it's gonna be dark soon and all my makeup is kind of smudged off so I'm not really in the right space for filming so I'm gonna have to still do that tomorrow I've got everything packed and ready to head down to Bournemouth. Yeah, that's the checklist for the rest of the day and I will catch up with you guys later. Good morning, everyone. I am fresh faced on this very miserable Thursday morning. I've done my skincare and I'm gonna get ready for the day now. I was gonna film a reel before I left for Bournemouth but I think it's just going to be too much of a rush. I've got some vintage parcels to post on my way down as well and I don't want to leave too late because then I'll hit the traffic and that'll just be a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to film a TikTok as well. I'm currently filming a like morning routine TikTok as we speak and I'm going to film a pretty lavish TikTok as well and then I'll film the reel that I had or was going to film next week instead. I'm gonna use the Dyson again on my hair today because um, considering I've slept in this and I had it clipped up yesterday for most of the afternoon, it's still got like a little bit of a wave to it. So I'm thinking maybe because I've had a little, of a little bit of a break from the air app that I'll give it another go. Also, whilst I'm here and I've got no makeup on, I just thought I would give you a bit of an update on my skin. So I've been using Skin and Me now for two months over two months i think and i am so impressed with the results i've had one blemish since i started using skin and me um which is kind of unheard of because normally i would be getting hormonal breakouts regularly um all around like my chin and mouth area but i've had one in the last two and a half months which i think is crazy so i've really been enjoying that i have another collaboration with them over on instagram coming um next month for april and may so keep an eye out over there if you do want to order from skin and me because i do have a discount code for you so it would be worth waiting for that because it's such a good saving but yeah i just wanted to update you all and say that i have been using it regularly and i absolutely love it the other thing i've been using regularly and i think i've spoken about this in a vlog i can't quite remember um but this serum from Cordily. So it's called the Vino Perfect and I've been using this morning and evening as like a glow kind of serum um, before I put my moisturiser on after any other serums and it has been so good. It's really given my skin, as you can see here, like a really natural glow. Like this is where I would put highlight normally, like around here. And it's given my skin yeah, just such a lovely natural glow and really brought it back to life. In this weather, it can be a bit kind of dull and a bit kind of tired looking, but I feel like this serum has given me a spring glow, even though the weather hasn't. So that was actually one of the first products that I've tried. Oh, we're very dark. That I tried from Cordly. It's a brand I've heard of and wanted to try pieces from for a very long time, but just hadn't got round to it. And I'm very impressed so far with that serum. I've also got the like mist that I've been using as well, which I really, really like. But you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Amor of Eats, uh, Queen of Hungary mist as well. So I do love both of them. I'm kind of alternating between the two. So yeah, it's nine o'clock now. So we're going to do my hair and makeup for the day. Hello everyone. So it's been a while since I spoke to you all. Um, I've obviously been down in Bournemouth. I will insert a few clips now of what we've been up to.
but I thought this would be quite a fun way to end the vlog. So Tom has seen this idea on TikTok where it's basically kind of like a deal or no deal style game, but you pick out holiday destinations. So he is currently writing out some holiday destinations and I'm going to pick one by one um, piece of paper out with the names of the destinations on and if I pick it, it means we can't go there. So I don't really know what he's writing. I've given a couple of ideas, but he's going to write the rest. And then the one that's left at the end is where we're going on our summer holiday. So it's quite a fun game. So I thought that I would video it and then you guys will be able to see where we're going. And we have to go there, don't we? Yes. yes. We have to, there's no choice. So if he's written something like Centre Parks or Devon, that is going to be our summer holiday. So I'm excited, but I'm a bit nervous now as well because I was looking forward to a nice destination and now it's out of my control. Right, you choose. You do You do two, I do two. And oh, am I picking one though? Or oh, I think we just... Uh, I think we'll pick one, yeah. Should we, should we save number eight then? It's your favourite number. Let's go for number one. You won't get anything from looking at it like that. Fourteen. What a great shout. No holiday. What a great shout. Yes. Off the bat. Off the bat. <laughs> Do... <laughs> Off the bat. No holiday. Done and dusted. <sighs> I'm at the coast. You're right. Don't tell me you've started. You're gonna hate me. Hawaii. Yes! Okay, perfect. Staycation. Oh, Mexico. Oh. I forgot Mexico. Oh, I can see it through. I know, I can, I see, can it see, well. see it as well. Barbados gone. Greece. Lucky two. Is it lucky? Canada. Okay. And 12. Three, four, and six left. South of France. Oh, okay. We all come. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Right, right. This is this is this is our chance to get Russia's. You're joking. I okay. think. Thank God for that. <laughs> so, in terms of how the game works now, do we? You can, we can, I can either open number one because that's the one I chose at the beginning, or I can swap it. Do you want to go with what you chose from the very start? Six. You want to go with number six? Mhm. Florida. It was yeah, Florida. it was Florida, yeah. I'm so happy with that. Right, I got that top. <laughs>